So today we're taking a look at this Westinghouse call button. Let's go ahead and get started. So this here is just a very basic style Westinghouse call station from the 70s. And this is the type A fixture. So if you look on the back here, we have this kind of contact arrangement. And that differs from the type E, which would look more kind of like this. This is just a shell, but you can see the difference on how it's mounted. So this particular call button itself is pretty basic. It's just a normal call button. There's the button itself and it consists of this plastic housing with a metal cover over the top. And this metal cover can be removed by pressing in this little metal pin and lifting off, and that reveals the call button. And you'll see here there are three spaces to put different buttons, so in this case there's only the middle one because it's just a terminal call station. There's a plastic ring around the button that can be removed by pushing in on these little black tabs and then pushing it out. And on the back here, there is this lamp socket and removing that reveals that this is an MB type bulb. So this is a 120 volt bulb. We won't be using that. And then there are these three terminals. You can see I can pull the lamp off very easily, revealing the spot to hold the lamp along with the connectors for the wires. Now the contact arrangement for this is quite simple. There is a metal piece that goes up and around like this. And pushing in the button, puts these two metal pieces down onto these, forming a circuit here. So these two outer ones are the switch, and then this middle one is just used for the lamp. So this is a very, very simple wiring job. So looking closer at the lamp socket, there is this resistor on this pin here. If you're using 120 volts, that works just fine, but in this case, we're not using 120. I wanna use a battery for this, so this resistor needs to go. Luckily, they've made it quite easy to take this off. All you have to do is unsolder this wire here, or if you don't know how to solder, looks like there's some space to put a wire. You could put something on the end here. As long as you get something between here and here, you can still use it. So I'm going to unsolder this resistor and then put a new wire on and put a new one of these clips on so we can connect it back on nice and easily. So that is how to wire up these Westinghouse elevator buttons. And you can see here, this one lights up nice and bright and it looks really good. There's not really a whole lot going on back here. It's just these three spots. You only have to put the battery on here and pretty much everything else is done for you already. So this is nice and simple and it makes a nice and easy project. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.